Welcome back for our monthly update. We're out here again on another beautiful day on Lake Kiwi. Um, we celebrated Cinco de Mayo yesterday and I went to the Mexican place last night and it was packed. We had a great time and uh, don't really know the significance behind that uh, holiday, but certainly enjoy it every year. Let's talk about a few things. First of all, the market. Um, we saw a slowdown definitely in April. Um, I think yeah, you know, we see that every year when it comes to tax time. People kind of trying to get the taxes together, exactly find out what they need to pay the government, or the government needs to pay them, but but in turn just figure out where they are uh, as far as their finances go. So that that's that's typical. But I tell you, here in the last week, uh, we've been able to put a couple houses under a contract, and we're gonna it looks like we're working on another uh, house this weekend uh, out there. So we've got some activity going on. Lot sales are still very slow, and again that goes back into the uh, the bank situation in fact if you look at the numbers right now there are 452 active waterfront lots on the market to date there are 23 that have closed now there's only been one over the uh, $345,000 figure and that is uh, a lot up in the Cliffs Vineyards that sold for a little over 800,000 now with that lot figured in the average waterfront lot sale right now on Kiwi is $259,000, and that's that's including the $800,000 plus sale. So, again, that's um, you know it kind of tells you where the market is gone as far as the values out there and and what's going on there. Now let's think talk about houses. Uh, right now, uh, for the year, there have been 32 homes that have sold, and uh, the average sales price is $717,391 out of those 32 homes. There still continue to be some short sales, bank-owned properties out there, so there's still some great buys to be had. Uh, there are actually 10 sales pending right now, so uh, we're getting ready to add another one to that tomorrow, so we'll make that 11. But, um, you know, the, the market for the houses has still been pretty good. And Again, we're only in May, so uh, to have 32 closings this year, I think is fantastic. Now there are 242 waterfront homes on the market, but again, the, the ones that are out there that are priced right, if you're a buyer, you can come in, you can take advantage of still great interest rates, uh, the terms, and come in here and get you a nice buy, because the people I was just dealing with, you know, they found a couple of houses that they were willing to put an offer in, uh, made an offer on the one they liked the most, uh, you know, to begin with, and they ended up getting that house. So, um, you know, don't certainly don't be afraid to come out in the market and check it out because right now, again, great buys. And how would you not want to be out on a lake like this? Let's talk about uh, rentals. Rentals are, have done extremely well uh, this year. We've got a lot of folks renting, and again, I think that goes back to the economy. People that maybe aren't buying right now, they still want to come enjoy the lake, so they're getting out here and they're picking up these lakefront homes or cabins or whatever it may be that they can rent, and uh, getting out here and getting those booked. Uh, because the house, one of the homes that we have is booked all the way through pretty much the end of July, solid from now. So that kind of gives you an indication of what's going on. Uh, let's talk about the cliffs a little bit. Um, if you want to go and, and you know, you probably read the papers or go to our website and look at the articles. Uh, Jim Anthony did raise over $60 million from his property owners. So uh, Club Co is the group, name of the property owners, and they've uh, all uh, donated money or, or at least invested money into the success of the cliffs and what's going to happen with that money is Jim's going to go on and start finishing the uh, different amenities and the different developments so that kind of secures that for the incoming buyers that these amenities will be completed at some point and should be looking at the timeline we're talking about in the next two to three years uh, the Gary Player course and Mountain Park is due to finish sometime in, in 2011 and Tiger Woods course sometime in 2012 so again Again, as a member myself, I look forward to seeing these amenities and these new golf courses come on the market because I certainly would like to get out and play them. Um, again, if you've got anything else you'd like for us to discuss, email us or give us a call. You can reach me at 1-800-682-9098. Let's talk again about rentals for a moment. Again, if you have something you want to book a rental, give Rick Miller a call. Our office number or his number is 864-945-0370. Now, Rick works on the weekends, not typically on Monday and Tuesday, but still, if you need to contact him, you can reach him by cell phone number, 864-784-9977. Book a rental. You need to do it now because they are filling up. Look forward to seeing you next month in June. The kids will be out of school and we're back time to be out there on the uh, 
uh, jet skis and pulling around on the tubes.